Welcome back to the show. Um, I want to talk about this. This is like an emergency alert. Um, there's a few reasons behind this, but one number one reason is if you can see what Bitcoin is doing right now, of course, a lot of people are excited, but I wanted to just kind of make sure that you understand that there is good enough reason to be excited, obviously, because we are trending this way. So it's very good that we are moving um, up. And, um, you know, anytime you're moving up, it's always a good thing, right? We're not complaining about that. Yeah, so anytime we're moving up, it's all great. Um, no complaints there at all, right? You know, you're moving up, everything's going fantastic. Um, but there are some key factors we need to look at. Number one we need to look at is this was our support zone, right? All of this area was our mega support. In fact, it's been a beautiful, beautiful support. We just cannot complain about um, what this has done. So I'm really happy with this, right? Um, if you actually observe carefully, and when I make it larger for you, right, you can see that um, we had this very strong support zone, especially here, right? Around this particular figure, this 18,100 and something to this area, we had a very, very strong support, which was fantastic. So we know we've had the support, which helped us um, maintain and get above this 21 day moving average which is signified by this blue wiggly line right so that's a 21 day exponential moving average and this is the 50 day exponential moving average and this is our 50 day moving average right now 50 days been good because you can see how we've crossed over how we've done this I'm, I'm happy with this like 21 is moving up 50 is now below it which is good this is the order we need to we just have one more thing to do to confirm. So we have this 50 day exponential moving on top of the 21. What we want to see is this 50 day come below and this 21 day go above. And obviously we want candles above as well. That will tell us something big is happening, but something more important is happening as well. Also, you need to understand that when you come into a technical perspective, you need to start looking at things properly on a technical perspective. This is still within this, um, the, the downtrend, right? So for us, we are in a particular range. You can see from here all the way here, this is a particular range. This area is a range, it's a zone, right? In between this purple and this blue uh, or aqua is actually a range. So we know that we're inside this range. We do have some small resistance zones here. For example, there was a resistance zone here. We broke that. It's been fantastic. And you can see we have a resistance zone here. We might break this and we might come and try to test this. Absolutely fine. I'm happy with all of this. Now, this would take a little bit longer. And you can see this is a combination uh, uh, indicator here. This is showing the 200 day and this is showing the 50 day. And you can see that the 200 day is also coming down and we're moving towards it. And we may see a golden cross approximately, I would say around the you know end of December. I don't want to give it a specific date. This one here is telling us 20 to 22nd December, but I'm not going to take that. I would say end of December, possibly even beginning of January, we might see this because anything could happen within the next couple of weeks. Now, we're talking about anything that could happen there's something i want to talk about which is the dixie chart right so the dollar index chart now why did i bring the dollar index charts in fact we've talked about this once before and you may have noticed that you've seen this exact chart i did not change the chart it's the same chart when i did the, all the drawings and i left 2022 as a questionable thing where we were peaking up like this right and you can see every time we peak up we have these crazy crazy situations and then something crazy happens right so we knew that you know a dump is coming and it's going to be a big one but we just don't know where the dump is going to start and how far this dump is going to go now one thing we can actually do is take some of the um, data that we have available so in fact there was this breaking headline um, in the US newspapers regarding diesel shortage. And they said something like there's 25 days worth of diesel remaining, right? Um, I mean, if we're talking today, then it's like 24 days worth of diesel remaining. Now, anything would happen and this diesel could just all of a sudden be like, you know, nothing. Next week, we could have this mega crisis. Um, so these are things we also need to look at because there could be a massive, massive crisis and I would call it the diesel crisis, right? Where I had these question marks, I could turn around and say, well, guess what? This is not a question mark anymore. This is now the diesel, uh, diesel crisis, right? Right, this is, this is now the diesel crisis because that's what's going to happen. What's, so you know this current war with Ukraine and Russia and whatnot? and all the sanctions that have been happening and all the imports that have been stopped from different countries, especially Russia, because there's a, a lot of embargo or whatever going on, right? And so now 
they're having to produce their own um, diesel or whatnot and a lot of countries are running short obviously for whatever reason whatever the agenda is I'm not going to even go down that route but the point is is they're running out and if they're running out that means that price will go up and inflation is going to go exponential right so what I'm trying to say is when exponential uh, so when when inflation kicks in when this diesel crisis started right started somewhere around here somewhere you can see how the dollar went up everything is good now all of a sudden we can see the dollar shoot like this and what this does is it will crash every other economy down like this when dollar does that right so if dollar goes up like this every other economy in the world this is the entire world will crash okay and then obviously this one will follow through and it will probably crash even further so we are expecting to see it around this line here around this level here um, we might see a massive massive dollar crush so I will be cautious on um, having funds in fiat right now and this will then come back and relate to what's about to happen here so people are looking to hedge their uh, funds right so if they need to you know go and save their money or whatever they need to do you know it, there's a lot of going on so what they're trying to do is they're saying look guys money's not money's going to be shit i need to start putting money into other stuff and so we've started creating this where we're starting to move up uh, a nice little wedge pattern here you can see even if i do one here you can see it's building up beautifully right so we are now starting to st trend up and all indications everything even if i activate the um zigzag where is it there we go you can see even from these we're seeing these massive swings where we've had our technical ABCD one two three four five corrections or whatever you want to call them but we're seeing these little moves coming in and showing us that there is you know momentum showing that he wants to move up because each time we're going up we're creating these higher lows which is what I was telling everybody I said guys focus on the higher lows don't worry about how low we can go don't worry about the fact that you know the charts was showing us numbers that we might be able to even go all the way down to 10 13k whatever don't worry about those those are bonuses this line here was what we predicted and we said if we fall below this it's a great opportunity to buy that means that anything that we could buy below this this line here around this zone here if anyone bought it you made a lot of uh, profit right uh, and we're doing a forecast here we're saying profit because what's going to happen as soon as we get back above this we're going to start being bullish right so this was the zone to buy this is the dot zone to hold hold all the way until here we want to hold until this 24 25,000 dollar level you can see signified on the right when I move this cursor that's where we want to basically go to right um get rid of the drawings right so you can see that this is exactly this twenty five thousand four five hundred or this whatever you want to call it this zone here is where we want to get to you know good thing is is obviously because we've had this particular um what you call this um we've had uh, this uh, 200 day moving average coming down means that we have less resistance here so as we are progressing up we are going to see less and less resistance, which is a very, very good thing for this market. In fact, for everybody who, who's very bullish, I'm not talking about the bears because bears are going to get wrecked, right? But the point is, is if you're a bull, you should be very excited seeing this particular data where the resistance line for the moving averages is coming down and we are moving up. That means that we're giving ourselves a better opportunity to break through this. So this is why some of these resistance zones are getting thinner and thinner. That means there is absolutely no resistance, right? So I can assure you that if we come and test this line, we will shoot and hit that. So don't don't be afraid or don't panic or don't get overexcited, right? Same equal, vice versa, right? When we do a massive five to ten thousand dollar pump in a single day. Because that five to ten thousand dollar pump is actually a reaction to what's about to happen here, right? And remember, currently I can see the only thing I can say the great reset for it to happen, whatever it is, whether it's the money reset or a, a complete financial reset, it's only going to happen because we're going to have an energy crisis. We're coming back to the stone ages. People are going to get whale oil and start lighting lamps, right? You know, they're going to probably get wood to go and heat their homes. Obviously, they're, they're, there are places, by the way, in this world where governments are actually issuing warnings for people not to light wood fire in their homes because of fire risk but this is what's happening that's the reality so when you start looking at some of this you understand that there is a lot of crazy stuff going on um and uh yeah it's, it's all fun and games obviously for some people like for myself 
I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I see loads of different things here. Um, you know, there's plenty of stuff going on here. It makes total sense what I'm seeing, um, but there's a lot more. Um, and, you know, the, you know, if you start looking at the way the market is reacting, it looks like we've had the bottom here and you can see how since then it's just been trending up right it just wants to move up and all of this data is is coming into that point where we are about to have the ema the um, moving average and the exponential moving average uh, flips coming in as well also if i just show you the daily you can see on the daily how this area here this is the june 2022 how we started being bullish and you can see how we constantly we do up and downs right and you can see how we were starting to become bullish since um, what was it? August 2022, right? So since August 2022, we started moving up. We started trending up. Of course, we're going to have daily ups and downs. This is on a daily, by the way, right? If I change things on a weekly or something, you can see much more powerful data where you can see that we came all the way down and we started being slightly bullish. You can see here June again. And now look, we just peaked above this zone. This is the entry point where we want to buy below this and we want to huddle all the way up to here. And then we want to start dumping around the 80 mark, obviously, right? This is going to be where we uh, dump. We can take risks all the way up to there. That's fine. As long as we, we are coming back here, we want to sell. But we this is from this area here, this 40 to this like 75. That's what I like to do is my safe zone is where I will make the most amount of gains, if that makes sense to you. And this is what I'm seeing on a larger time frame, guys. So this is this is not a joke, right? When you start looking at this. Also, on, on, you can see the monthly. I'm looking at the monthly and I, I see, look, we've had this bottom here in January 2015. We have this bottom here in uh, January 2019. And then look what we have here, right? We have June 2022. This June 2022 has been constantly coming up. Of course, it took a long time for it to come to November 2022. But we're finally seeing that we're coming. And this is what I want to show you, right? This is, let, let me make it larger. This is what I want to show you. We're coming to test this. So we had these downturns. You can see this came down. It didn't go up. It didn't go up and invalidate the other levels. We came down here. We came up and then we came down again. This is now coming to invalidate this particular area. And if it goes above this 4399, 44 level, you can see here this 44 level and it moves up and invalidates this. That's the beginning of your official bull run. Of course, it's going to be, you know, a lot of people may tell you a little bit later, but don't panic about it. It's all good, right? This is what I'm seeing. So this is some crazy, crazy data. Um, even on the monthly, you can see how the candles are reacting. Well, not candles, but if you want to see candles, actually. This is the candles. You can see how the candles are reacting. But I wouldn't use candles on a monthly. Um, I think it's much better if you use a line so you can see what we're doing. We've come back and we want to come and invalidate this. Exact same thing as we're trying to do on the other side. We're trying to do here as well. Um, you know, we go back down to the weekly. You can see exactly what we're about to do. We're about to come and test that 21-day moving average. Yes, we're peaked out a little bit here, but it doesn't matter. This can peak out or whatever. This is what's relevant here right now, this uh, RSI, not the stochastic RSI. Um, and then obviously if we move down the timelines if we move down like five days you can see we are coming to test it it's very hot again the, the indication here is guys this is it right this is about to happen and I've got a feeling like now I'm gonna go off uh, onto some of my theories basically I've got a feeling that we are um, going to see a, a dollar collapse sooner than later um, I've got a feeling within the next couple of weeks um, I'm going to see all fiat collapse. So if you've stuck to the end of this video, this is my warning to everybody. Um, fiat is very, very dangerous right now. Um, you need to look for some alternative assets um, and plug yourself and, you know, literally hold on for dear life because we are going to have see some crazy, crazy volatility, not in crypto. We are going to see more of it in the financial markets and we are going to see some crazy price hikes. It doesn't matter what the government does, because if there is a diesel shortage around the globe, then what will happen is your distribution, your logistics will stop. And when they stop, or, or even if they don't stop, right, if everything goes up and it becomes more expensive because of only a very few people are able to do it, things are going to become very, very, very expensive. So, you know, be careful where you plug your funds right now, because that's the most crucial thing to notice. It's not about, are we in a bull market? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? that people are going to move to alternative currencies. And I'm not going to tell you what to buy, right? I've watched many videos recently shared to me by the community, by friends and family, and there's pumping this, they're pumping that out. I'm just calm. I'm like, 
I'm not looking at this, you're not getting the bigger picture. Plug yourself into the biggest assets this planet has to offer you. Yes, the risk is high, but plug yourself there. And then look at the second biggest asset that this planet has to offer. And what's the second biggest asset to me? Fiat. Global fiat currency, global monetary system is the second biggest problem that we have. So I'm balancing those two. I'm not just going favoring one side, oh, crypto or Ethereum. No, yes, Ethereum is part of my portfolio, but I'm looking at these two global giants and I'm saying, well, who's going to win? This is a battle of the giants. Who is going to win? You know, the underdog, Bitcoin, the underdog, the, the one that's been bullied all of his life. Is it going to be this what's going to win? Is it going to be gold that's going to win? Is it going to be silver that's going to win? I don't know. What is it going to be? But I know that this battle that um, the financial market has created, it's a losing battle. It's, it's designed to fail. Fiat currency and the monetary system currently is designed to fail. Think about that. We can talk more and expand a little bit more on conspiracies and some of these ancient civilization uh, theories that I have. And I hope um, those ones will be a lot more interesting. But other than that, guys, I think I spoke too much. Like, share, subscribe. Remember, we are we are super, super bullish right now. But that's something I've been mentioning for a long, long time. There's nothing new here. I know a lot of you guys, you know, get excited when you hear fresh news. I just want to stay away from these fresh news because every day is the same news. But this is significant. This is significant that we are now above our 21. We are uh, EMA. We are now above our 50 EMA. We are definitely above our 50 day moving average. This is significant, right? We're probably coming to test our 100 day moving average. This is significant. We're coming to test our 200. This is also significant. And everything else in the market, in the sentiment market, right? So when you start looking at the sentiment, the RSI, the stochastic RSI, you can can see sentiment has been moving up especially since june right and everything is indicating that we are in the perfect perfect zone perfect perfect zone to start moving and um you know start a new bull run basically so yeah this is going to be very awesome so other than that look guys it's been fantastic i'm gonna um catch you on another one very soon like share subscribe and uh yeah, yeah let's catch up on another one very soon